Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again, introducing you to my Gears of War 3 Rams Shadow DLC Insane Difficulty video walkthrough. This is the second part to Chapter 5, the chapter called Krillstorm, and this is the Elite Theron boss. So at the start of this, uh, well, the start of, at the end of the last video, sorry, you'll notice I was really tentative to drop down, and the reason for it is on co-op, when I died on this fight on Insane, I spawned up there, and he didn't come anywhere near us, and we were just shot at him, and he was really easy, but on your own, um, you can't get back up there, I've tried. So I go up against this piece of cover, he spawns in front of me, there's a bunch of tickers and a couple of enemies, and my team are literally just distractions now. When it says press Y, it means that the Theron has spawned, you need to wait for his, his, his Krill cloak to go down, and then you can hit him. If you have a boom shot like I do, one boom will drop his, uh, one boom will hurt him enough so that when you start shooting him with the lancer, he will go down almost immediately. One thing I will say here, folks, that I didn't do that I wish I could kind of go back and do again is maybe not use as much boom shot on him. Maybe try and shoot him with my other weapons because I get to general ram and I don't have any explosive guns to seal emergence holes to get rid of his krill and it turns the boss fight into a bit of a bitch but luckily enough I've done it without any need of that and I, I will show you the best way to do it but every time he turns up if he goes for your team you'll have no issue whatsoever if he goes for you you're gonna have a couple nervous moments when he runs up close trying to shotgun you and luckily enough hopefully he'll drop his shield you'll hit him with a boom shot and you'll kill him or you'll end up getting bayoneted or he'll spray you there's just sometimes when he's close to you there's nothing you can do it's just one of those bullshit moments where you'll just die but as long as you get lucky like I am right now I mean look that straight really close to me but he runs that way instead and cause Ty's there, Ty's gonna try and mess with him I hit the boom shot, I start lancing him from the hip because I can move faster he goes for Ty again, I keep shooting him he's, uh, he's going for me now, I'm like oh god please go down and there he goes, he goes down if you stay in the ink that he drops the krill will rape you in seconds you do not want to go anywhere near that shit, it is just danger as you can see luckily enough for Ty, the guy's a tank, he just does not get killed by krill whatsoever and um, a couple more tickers will spawn every so often. The, the kind of, you know, every time he goes back into his hiding spot, he generally spawns some tickers to frustrate you. And he's back again. I throw a grenade to try and try and get rid of his shield. I don't think they do. I think he just goes down on his own accord. He's now trying to shoot whoever's down. I down him, and as soon as he goes down and stays down, he's dead. And you can go up and curb stomp him, and you're done. But. Uh, that can be quite hard that I'm it, it looked easy because I wasn't being attacked uh, he didn't come anywhere near me but it can be tough and you need to be aware of that so I'm out of boom shots unfortunately and I don't think there's an opportunity to get any back uh, there may be I, I can't quite remember this this last level is a bit of a blur but you want to move around the room pick up as much ammo as you can and if I if I was paying attention I would be taking the talk ball for, off of Ty and I think I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to do that now. So, I know I've given him one, I know it's got ammo in it, and I'm trying to swap my boom shot for it. Oh, it's got no ammo. Goodness me. I could have swore I gave somebody one with ammo. Suffice to say, it's a fail on my part. <laughs> but, once you go through the door, you're going to find yourself in a massive ammo cache. There is lots of, of shit all over here. There's every assault rifle you could possibly want. And what I do is I swap out my secondary for a retro lancer. And I'm going to repeat this right now, guys. If you have a boom shot or any explosive ammo, keep it. But swap your normal lantro. Lantro? Look at that. That is a retro lancer in one word. The lantro. It's the all-new epic weapon. No, uh, swap out your normal lancer for the retro lancer because it really does work against RAM. It's fantastic. And the strategy that I'm going to be showing you means getting super close to RAM. But that's the end of the video, guys. The next one is going to be the, the epic climax against the man himself. And hopefully you'll get through it and you'll get your achievement for beating the campaign and beating the arcade and all that good stuff. And uh, the badge of... The badge... I'm losing my words all the time. Why do, why do I do these commentaries? I'm clearly not a gifted speaker. I should just hang myself like all the other gifted speakers did. But thanks for watching, guys, and you take care now.